go ahead and show you guys how to sew down this side seam really easily um, and skip the drawstring opening. So first of all, it wants us to do a half inch seam allowance. So I'm lining up the edge of the fabric with the second line here. And uh, to start this, I'm gonna put my needle down and then I want to run it through and backstitch. And now when I get to my pencil mark, I'm going to, once again, do a quick backstitch. And now to skip this, I don't have to unthread. I can just move it forward, keeping this lined up the whole way. Set it back down. Now I can sew forward, back stitch, and I can sew all the way down to the bottom and back stitch the last time down there. So just a real quick way to skip over that opening and then you can just cut your thread there. Oh, can you see it? Cut that thread when you are done sewing it all up. Okay, so our next stop step here is to sew down and around the opening. So all we need to do here, this is just gonna keep your fabric out of the way when we put the drawstring in. So you just wanna follow kind of like the picture you see right up here um, where we're gonna tack our seam down. So I'm just gonna sew down. Where's my opening at? Right. Well, I hope so if I find my opening. There it is. Okay, there. That's why it looked funny. Um, there it is. So we're going to sew down this side. We're going to sew right below it and right back up. So then we'll have that opening there for when we go to thread our um, drawstring. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I thought some of you, it might be helpful if you saw me do this. So I went ahead Put my needle down. I'm gonna sew forward, back stitch. I'm not really doing any particular seam allowance. I'm kind of following the inside toe of the presser foot on the side here. Um, I'm just going down to where my opening is. I made sure I've got my single layer here. I'm going to pivot and go under without sewing the other part of my bag. I come up this way. So not much to it, but this is gonna keep all that fabric out of the way and you will appreciate this step when you go to do your drawstring. So now we can just clip off the thread there and do the other side. Okay, our next step here wants us to box the bottom. So it says mark the lower edge of the outer bag with a pen. So this would be my lower edge. This is my side seam. This is my lower edge. So I'm just gonna take a pen and mark it. Sometimes you can just crease it. Yeah, that works too. But the reason we're marking it is so that we can line up the very bottom edge with the center of our side seam because see it says with right sides together match the side seam to this point so this is my side seam i'm going to match this to this so i'm going to do that by opening and folding it this way and then you can just pin this opening or pin your seam open here for this step might be easier if I hold it this way for you to see. Okay, so now I can pin this here. And it wants me to sew this up um, with a half inch seam again. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into my sewing machine, line it up with that second line, move this in this down so you can get it. Whoa! Make you dizzy. Okay, so maybe you can see that. So I'm going to 
back stitch and then sew up the bottom. So I'll do this to both sides. Oh, I wanted to open this up as I got to it. So I'll open that up. So across here, back stitch. Okay, so now you have the bottom boxed on one side, do the same to the other.